Hello, my name is Janet Constant, and today we have a very special visitor all the way from the Yukon Gold Rush. Catherine Ryan, the first woman to ever join the Klondike Gold Rush. Kate was also the first female to join the Northwest Mounted Police. Kate, why don't you come and have a seat? <laughs> Hi, how are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. So how do you feel about being the first woman to join the Klondike Gold Rush? I just feel like it's such an accomplishment to get other girls to climb it as well. I understand that you have many other accomplishments. Can you tell us about them? For sure. Well, I ditched my job in Seattle to go to the Yukon, and am I glad I did. Once I got there, I became the first female inspector collecting royalties on gold nuggets being taken from the Yukon. I was a jailkeeper, but now I became the owner of my own restaurant. Wow. What was your job before you w went to the Yukon? I was a nurse, and I still kind of am one. I once performed tabletop surgery while sewing back and placed the lip of a Swedish miner. The miner having been involved in a barroom bar room crawl. crawl. <laughs> so I once remember hearing that you have a nickname. Can you tell us what it is and how you got it? Many people call me Klondike Kate because I was the only Kate to be on the Klondike Gold Rush. But then Kathleen Rockwell came and stole the name right from me. Who is this other Kate? Kathleen Rockwell became famous because of her flame dress made with more than 2,000 meters of chiffon. She did her little dance in front of everyone, then announces she was Klondike Kate. She doesn't deserve such a name. I worked my butt off to get where I am. I understand how that can frustrate you. Can you tell us about your journey on the way there? It was a brutal trail. In the winter, horses had to be lightly loaded or they'd flounder in the snow. The group was to a constant race against the weather. The rest of the group set up a permanent camp. I continued on alone. I took a less traveled trail. Being a woman on my own, I usually surprised most men on the trail. When you joined the Northwest Mountain Police, did you, any guys treat you different? They did at first. They would glare at me and frown at me, but that didn't last long. I told them if I was going to cook and clean for them, they were going to treat me like one of their own. So you did cook and clean a lot? Of course. I was one of the only girls up there. I once cooked a Christmas meal for everyone. You had to donate at least one item. I donated the last six potatoes I had for the year. My dad would send me a bunch of food that I can't get. Wow, life sounds pretty rough up there. Yeah, it was. When I first got there, I thought that I would only have to sleep in a tent for a few weeks. But I ended up living in a tent for three years before I got my homestead up. So what kept you going the whole time? Well, I have a motto. I just say I wasn't built for going backwards. When I one step forward, I must go ahead. Well, there you have it, folks. Kathleen Ryan or Klondike Kate. Are you as tough as her? If I was Kate and Kate was French, <laughs> that looks awful. <laughs> Pies de resistance. <laughs> The order remaining. No English. When did come up? Ah! When did come up? When did come up? Ah! Hi, how are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. today. I'm great, thanks. So how do you <laughs>